got sunshine out there yeah, right now. Yeah, beautiful sunshine today. So probably not going to wear the Uggs actually outside for any afternoon evening plans. But taking a look over Greensboro, you can see all the blue skies stretching as far as we can see. That will continue throughout the afternoon into the evening. Just some clouds starting to build in as we get going later for today and then overnight into tomorrow. But temperatures beautiful out there, especially compared to some of the conditions we had earlier this week. 64 in Galax, 69 in Greensboro, Ashboro, Lexington, Winston-Salem, 67 in Danville, and 72 in Burlington. So pretty pleasant already for your lunch hour. This afternoon, temperatures continue to get a little bit warmer. Even the low 70s today for the triad into the foothills, mountains high temperature about 65 degrees. There's all the sunshine, just some clouds building, and we will be staying nice and dry as we go throughout today. So Margo talked about this earlier. Brian Formica will be out there for tonight, but the Greensboro Grasshoppers, they do have their season opener for tonight. So if you're headed out, great night for it, and a great night to also just kick off the baseball season. 7 o'clock, that's when that first pitch is. Temperature about 69 degrees. Then we will continue to cool things off just to the 60s as we go throughout. Clouds, they will start to develop, fill in throughout the evening, overnight night, but we will be staying dry until really about 4 or 5 a.m. We'll take a look at satellite and also your hour by hour forecast in just a second, but first for radar and satellite, do have that high pressure system off towards the north. That will continue to shift offshore as we go throughout today. So there's all the clear skies out towards the west down to the south. There's all the rain, also all the clouds that we're watching. It's all associated with this whole disturbance making its way through Oklahoma, also into Kansas. These two will link up that cold front back behind. That is all going to bring us our rain chance as we get going throughout your Friday. Now with this system, there is quite a bit of moisture associated with it. You can really see that here on our water vapor loop. Even the blue, the purple color way down to the south over New Orleans into Louisiana. So this is going to be for a bit of a rainy, even a soggy day for tomorrow to really start off your weekend. So rainfall total is what we're talking about. Upwards about half of an inch to an inch, even across the entire area, clearing things out before your Saturday morning. As far as severe storms, not looking too likely, could have one or two, but still mainly just looking like the rain is going to linger for a good portion of the day, then clear out by the evening and overnight. So here's a look at that on your hour by hour forecast. Into the morning hours, 4 or 5 a.m., starts out towards the west. Does start to push off into the central portions of the area by about 6, 7. Few pockets of some heavy downpours at times. That continues throughout your morning commute. So tomorrow, kids head to the bus stop, take the rain gear with them, the umbrella, also maybe leave a few uh, minutes early as morning commute could be just a little bit messy at times. Not looking like severe activity as we go throughout the afternoon, but you do see some yellow, some orange mixed in there even by lunchtime as we go throughout the rest of the day as the system does push on out of here. So that's where we could see upwards about half an inch to an inch where we get some more of those pockets of the heavier rain. Into the evening and then also for your Friday night, start to clear things out. Few spot showers left over about 9, 10 o'clock and then the clouds that continues to move on out of here as well. Saturday look to be staying dry. Do have just a 20% chance for a spot shower. Don't think we'll see it Sunday into next week though. We do bring in that rain chance. Temperatures 60s and 70s.